thank you for joining me for another review. Today I am reviewing Valor vs. Action Force Weapon Pack Charlie. This is the third weapon pack and just so happens to be the first one that I've reviewed. Uh, I actually ordered it straight from Valiverse as I had previously pre-ordered them through Big Bad Toys. But as everybody tends to know, their container is locked probably somewhere in California, never to be seen again. So I went straight to Valiverse once they got their shipments back in stock. And sure enough, I have two boxes. This has been uh, my most anticipated of the Valiverse weapon packs. I might go back and do a retro review of Bravo because I did not actually get Alpha. The weapon came with an, a suppressed M4, similar to the Delta Force pack. The suppressor is not removable. And while the magazine is supposed to, mine is wedged in so tight that I have not been able to pull it free yet. I'm sure I'll probably have to heat it up. It has the opening like all Valiverse weapons do is for the barrel uh, effect, which is located in this bag. I didn't feel like taking the six ones out because I do my reviews outside and I did not want the wind to blow them away. Next is a scar that I just dropped with an M203. The magazines for these were actually off, so I put that one in, and there are the other two in front of it. Actually, been greatly anticipating that one, even though scars aren't my favorite design. That is a really cool looking one. Next, we have the HK G36 hand with black magazines and there are two spare magazines that go with that that one also the magazine was loose so I plugged it in and I believe this is a scorpion evo uh, the magazine is not removable because it's actually considered an SMG even though it's pretty much bigger than the the Assault Rifle HKG-36. But who am I to... Uh, who am I, basically? Now we move on to the SMGs. I actually forget what this one is called. It looks like a Colt, but I think it's actually a Scorpion. And as I stated... The SMGs do not have removable magazines, so that's less parts, but that's okay. Next we have the classic HK MP5K, which is the one with the front grip, uh, no sh a short barrel, and no stock of any kind. Sorry folks, I had to attend to my personal pet who was barking up. Last, we have a Tech 9, a classic. I might put this on Firefly, the, the demolition version. I have two boxes, as I said, of the Charlie, so I might give him uh, the Guns Akibo look and replace the Colt pistol that I currently have on him. And so these are the boxes they come with. Nice little cargo design has the picture of all the weapons and everything else that comes with it they each come individually bagged and as I said the, the effects were in that bag and I have to say for less than 20 bucks you get quite a bit of weapons they're very handy and much nicer than the original G.I. Joe's thank you guys so I think I'll wrap up that because there's not really much more to say since I didn't have bring any figures today. And again, you can get these off of Valiverse.com. I highly recommend supporting Bobby there because you're buying directly from them. I ordered mine uh, in the middle of June and I just got them 
a couple days ago, so it was pretty good turnaround time considering that there was a conven two conventions he went to, and he does all the shipping. So, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.